right, let's talk about line degradation too. Uh, this is a, a splicing repair somebody sent to me. And you can see that's pretty worn. That's not quite to the 25% of reduction in strand volume or overall rope volume to warrant to put it out of service. But it is pretty worn. I suggest to deplace a 25% D-rate on the, the new minimum strength of this line just to be safe. Um, and you can also see that these synthetic lines like to take a set. You see how flat that is? Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. That doesn't degrade the line at all. That's just because it's hollow core and it'll, it'll want to smooth out to whatever it's around. Um, and um, you can tell this was the winch side. Um, the, as, as these synthetic fibers uh, get put under load, they'll get a sheen on them that almost seems like it's glazed or that it's melted. It's not. That's just the way the fiber is. If you work this back and forth, it will go right back to normal. It'll keep some of that some of that stiffness on the outside of the rope, but there there's no reason to degrade the rope because of that. That's just the way the the the, the rope reacts to being put under tension, uh, being compressed in the drum. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this. A little bit of a little bit of wear right there, but nothing to worry about. Um, so if your rope's starting to look like this, uh, you're getting close, getting close to wanting to think about replacing it, or maybe just buying a, um, just removing the, you know, the bad section out of the line. Maybe buying a, if you've got a hundred foot line and you know the first fifty foot is worn out or is starting to look like this, you know, buy another fifty foot of line and just, you know, end or end splice it back together. Uh, there's this splice does not degrade the strength of the rope at all. And it will save you some money uh, in buying a, a whole new winch line. You know, just replace the part that's bad. That's all you need to do. Now, this does add some bulk to the line, uh, but only for only for about four or five foot of the line, and then you're right back to the normal diameter. Um, so, just something else to think about. Uh, should save you some money if you you just need to cut a bad section out of the line and replace it. And that's one of the beautiful things about synthetic rope is. It's easy to splice in a new section of line, even if it's right in the middle. You know, you can just splice a new section right in the middle of the line if you need to. Thanks for watching.